Hey guys, um, so Easter's coming up in about a week and I recorded a little video, my wife recorded it, of a lesson that I gave our kids. I had prepped it for church so it just made sense to share it with the children um, and it kind of blew their mind and I hope that if you have kids or grandkids or nieces or nephews or uh, spouses or friends who are childlike um, that you can use it and impress them but more importantly impress upon them um, the importance of the resurrection and what it means to us and that uh, every time they see an egg they can now remember the resurrection so here it is all right so in one week from now what's it going to be next Easter. Sunday? Easter and Maylee what do you think about when you think of Easter fun what do you think about Jade Jesus Jesus Austin eggs and eggs <laughs> What else? Being with family. Being with family. Uh, and it's about decorating evils of food. Oh, you get the home on set for food and fun for Easter and dinner. And I know. Yeah. So when I was a kid, I don't think there was ever a year that passed that my mom didn't take me and Aunt Amanda on an Easter egg hunt. Either one where we had to go search for Easter eggs or where there are thousands of eggs in a field and a ton of kids and we all, they say go and we all run and shove as many eggs in our basket as we can, right? So I grew, as a kid, I grew up to love Easter eggs. They're fun. You can put stuff inside of them, different things. Inside this one, what do you guys think? Jelly beans, coins, Jelly beans. peanuts. Coins. coins. Sound like coins to you? Okay. So I've got this special Easter egg here. You want to sit down, make so that all the kids can see? I want to. You want to see? Okay, you're going to help me out, okay? All right. Okay, all right, you stand right here by me. There we go. So we got this Easter egg. We've got it full of some stuff. Now, one thing that I want you guys to do is let's think of the Easter egg as a tomb for what's inside. Or sometimes in the scriptures, what is another word for a tomb? It's a big, long word. It starts with an S, Ava. Sepulchre. Sepulchre. So when Jesus, after he voluntarily gave his life on the cross, right? Um, where, did they put, where did they put Jesus? Inside a tomb. Inside a tomb, right? They wrapped his body. And then, what was in front of the tomb? Was it just an open cave? Was it a stone? Was it like a stone that was like real light and easy to move? No. Super heavy, right? And then after the stone, there was another layer of protection. What was after the stone? Does anyone remember? There were two Roman soldiers who stood guard, right? They did not want Jesus to leave or for anyone to come and take his body, right? So they were guarding it, right? No, it was the stone. So, and they fell asleep. one thing about Easter, it's like other special holidays like Christmas. Like Christmas, we think about Christmas trees and presents and Santa Claus, and sometimes we can get distracted from the actual reason why we celebrate Christmas. Why do we celebrate Christmas, Pace? Um, I'm not talking about Christmas, but um, uh, why do we celebrate Christmas? Yes. To celebrate the Savior's birth. To celebrate the Savior's birth and his coming to earth, right? And Boston, why do we celebrate? Um, why did Nezra want his eminence? It's the day on Jesus' birth. No, I know. I know. No, close. It's the day of his birth. We're celebrating the day of his birth. That's right. So we want to remember his atonement, which is when he, Boston, he to set those down. All right, we want to remember his atonement. What's the atonement, Ava? The atonement is when Jesus atones for our sins on the cross and in the garden of Gethsemane. Yes. Oh, no. And we want to remember his resurrection. So one thing about Easter eggs, why I think they're so magical, is there's this moment of anticipation where you like get to guess and you're like, what's inside? I think I know what's inside. And then you open and you find out and see if you're right. right? That's kind of something magical. But what if inside this Easter egg, if we imagine it to be a tomb, what if something was more magical? What if there was nothing inside? Nothing at all. Because Jesus didn't stay in the tomb. 
He was, he was resurrected, right? Shake it again, Dad. Shake it again. Put it in the other hand and shake it. Okay, so he was in the tomb. He was in the And then he was resurrected. Placed in the tomb. Back in the And resurrected. Ah, yeah, put it back. Right. Put it back in the tomb. Now let me open it. What? <laughs> So, Wait, so, <laughs> so, so, this year, this year, when we celebrate Easter in one week from now, I'm sure we'll do an Easter egg hunt around our house and we'll probably go somewhere to a park and go get some eggs. But I want you guys, when you see an Easter egg, to remember that the real miracle isn't that there's something inside, but that Jesus Christ was inside a tomb and that on the third day he rose and he was no longer there. Because that means, because he overcame death. Yeah, that was so good how you like, it's like, Oh, sure. It means he overcame death for all of us. And since he overcame death for all of us, pays. what does that mean after we die? What will happen to our bodies? Resurrected. We will be resurrected. Our spirit and our body will come together and be one again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys figure out how we did it? Yeah. I watched yeah. <laughs> you guys watch me prepare. Show them the trick. So, like a true magician, I really do have something up my sleeve here. <laughs> All right. So, what what is an egg gonna remind you of? I know the trick. When you see, yeah. When you see eggs this year, what are you, what what are you gonna try and remember? Jesus. Jesus. Resurrection. His resurrection that he left the tomb. <laughs> Is that a pretty cool trick, boss? Yeah. <laughs> now you can practice. Ah, oh. Oh, oh gosh. He barfed on me. At least it wasn't in my mouth like Ava. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Whew. And, uh,. We got lots to catch you up on. Lots to catch you up on. Till next time, keep dreaming. <laughs>